mines that are going to be a little bit of a pain for a while, so take a while to mix it up. Armory opposite side is now ready for Sky High though, so we're going to see overall still pretty much an even match. More uh, tanks for Sky High, he hasn't really lost any tanks yet, that's very good for him on the opposite side. We're going to see the starport now, still don't see any armories upgrading for other per person, so actually those armories were more for Goliath than anything else. Tanks meanwhile now, smartly Sky High, there are mines though in position, so that's pretty bad. He just planted one of those tanks on the upper ledge, so he can also use the tanks on the lower ledge to use the tanks on the upper ledge for vision. That's all very confusing now, a tank got to move out there to meet the tank position. One supply depot taken down, not really a lot of damage done overall, lost a couple of tanks there, not very wonderful position. And on the opposite side, Sky High has a couple of tanks bl being blocked due to, due to mines, because as soon as he unsieges, we're going to see where those mines are going to go off. He just can't really move out because he knows those, those mines are there, and the high is going to happen, vultures moving out again. Tanks can be forced to micro around those mines, we're going to see how many managed. Another mine going off, but ooh, nice micro there overall. And now high is actually moving in with this entire ta attack force, four tanks, several goliaths, and all in all. Now sky is going to be forced. There's also a wraith there to check out the dropship. Dropship actually does go down. There are several tanks there being engaged by SVs as well as tanks. So sky high now in a slightly difficult position. He's <clears throat> his natural is being constantly harassed. Now he has that wraith there too, but there are goliaths for sky high to take care of that. So there is that little pup. And now high apparently has taken a slight advantage there. Sky high can get one of his tanks ignored and taken out. High has been mining off those two bases completely on harassed for quite a while, and Sky High is in a little bit of trouble now. He's had his natural harassed twice now. One uh, more delayed, not a lot of SVs taken out, but this second time a lot of SVs were taken down, so he's going to lose a lot of economy. Now he's going to have to go out and do some economic damage because he hasn't really done that on the opposite side. Now he's going to move out with some tanks and vultures alongside. High has plenty of vultures and tanks of his own to meet him. Also has those Goliaths that are going to take out the forward barracks that uh, High was thinking of. He's dying again on mines taken there, so he's got to be very careful. Going to see some tanks. Going to be very careful to stay out of the reach of those mines. I'm not quite sure if he is there or not. Scans going off. Good micro there by Sky High to try to take out those to take out those mines as they pop up. There are no wraiths coming in, so the Goliaths are going to come in handy to take out those wraiths before they take out any of the tanks. They're going to force them back. I'm not seeing any Sharon booster upgrades for those Goliaths. So raids have a slightly better chance of surviving. I saw sharing boosters for Haya, but not for Sky High. I just think he might, might not be not deciding to invest in that because he might not afford it. Still plenty of, of vultures running around for both players, just planting mines, trying to get a decent position in control tower, as well as armory upgrading. <sighs> control tower not upgrading, but just getting itself up for Haya now. Sky High trying to get this upper ledge to try to siege this natural expansion of Haya's and if he actually manages this pretty well he could be in a pretty decent position. He's Haya countering with his own tanks on the lower ledge to try to... he's gonna definitely have to use a, a scan if he wants to take that. And finally upgrades on the opposite side. Last upgrade oh, I'm assuming for Sky High. I assume that's the chair and boost is gonna be picked up. Now some tanks gonna be put in a pretty bad position. Gonna be surrounded by vultures. One tank is gonna siege. The other tank is gonna get killed before the uh, Sky High's own vultures can help him out. Haya has slowly taken advantage, an advantage in this game, honestly, just he hasn't had his economy harassed, as he should have, now putting down another command center, so he's probably thinking of taking down that 4 o'clock position, and High really needs to, Sky High, I'm sorry, really needs to think of putting up a drop, now I'm going to engage between, an engagement between Vultures, that Sky is actually going to put push High back a little bit, but Vultures, not to begin this, but the main thing about Vultures, you got to try to plant down mines, again, now the bunch of Vultures are going to get taken out, Haya, just trying to push up a little bit, being delayed as much as he can by Sky High by his own vultures. Sky High really had to think of planting his own mines around all over the place to prevent those tanks from moving up. Because there's no really, nothing else really. The only thing that it can truly really move around the field right now are vultures because they don't activate mines. So all in all, now High again trying to move around the vultures, trying to plant some mines, but getting pushed back a little bit. But still Sky High not in a wonderful position. He really needs to do some economic damage and just keep hold as he can and take out an army, take down a battle, do some economic damage. I think that's the most important part. Try to get a drop in, a successful drop this time. He was trying to go for a vulture drop early on, earlier on and he was forced to do, to cancel that. Also he was trying to go for a tank drop which wouldn't work, too, which wasn't too successful. Uh, Sky also has a couple of wraiths out there, apparently just waiting to see pretty, and this drop is actually going to come in, we're going to see whether those wraiths are going to be in time, it's going to be very critical whether High actually managed to get this off or not, wraiths are going to be there to meet him in time, one vulture, two, two vultures actually, three vultures actually managed to drop though, so successful drop overall, these wraiths are going to be able to help take care of these vultures, but not going to be in time, oh on the opposite side, High, High loses a couple of tanks to mines there, and now on, in the main of Sky Highs, he's going to be forced to completely remove all of his SUVs, and now he's just showing shots of random shots of the teammates, this game still, still, either player can win this game so far, Sky High now, 
Gonna engage those tanks at close range, try to take them out. Mines were in position, so all those tanks should actually go down. And indeed, they do. So, Sky High cleaning up. I think at this point he should have taken care of the harassment that was going down inside of his own expansion. Now, just uh, Haya being prevented overall. You know, he has put down the expansion at the 4 o'clock, and Sky High still has two bases and has had his economy harassed. Now, gonna move out with some braces. Gonna need to cloak those to help him out because those Goliaths are completely deadly. They have Charon Booster upgrades and they're gonna kill all those wraiths. If he doesn't use them properly, I'm not seeing any ground forces. There we go, the ground forces of Sky he still has quite a few ground forces. He has those tanks in the back there, which is one of the ways, I mean, honestly, he's not engaging, but he's forcing something there. And Control Tower on the opposite side for high also and upgrading. Now, meanwhile, the Wraiths that are going to come in, they're going to try to spot. They're going to go in and spot. So Sky High is actually moving in with Wraiths. Haya trying to engage those forces on the opposite side, trying to move in and flank them up. But there are plenty of tanks in two different positions to meet them up. So the Wraiths are going to be for The Wraiths now finally taken out in the, natu uh, the natural expansion of of Haya. So Sky High still barely holding this for a while. Scan's going off, but Sky High doing a pretty good job of trying to hold this off. Taking out the gas. So this is very important. So important to just deny the gas because at this point you really need gas. A lot of fans overall happy by that. Just brilliant move there by Sky High, moving in with his wraiths so he can start sieging with those tanks. Finally, coming a little bit away, but very important. On the opposite side, Sky High apparently thinking of taking these, these, <laughs> this two o'clock, being spotted by those vultures. So Haya knows that he's going to be expecting that, and Haya is not going to be able to take that second gas for quite a while with those tanks in that position. They're just going to be able to siege him. And again, now from the opposite side, again tanks going to be. Uh, with a Wraith engage those other tanks there, so Sky I just slowly trying to surround, trying to do some economic damage. Now I'm going to move in with a Wraith too, and that will go in. No Goliath's in position so far. Now finally Wraith's coming in on the opposite side from high, try to engage these tanks as well as that Wraith. Also Vultures to help out alongside, so we're going to see. He's going to use those Vultures to engage all those tanks. They're going to be able to plant mines and completely clean this up though, so... That's going to be the, the end of Sky High's harassment in that location. Also going to be put down a position of a bunch of mines of tanks being put down behind that natural. So High at this point has already three mining bases and Sky has still a two. So he really has to work hard towards trying to win this game for CJ here. Fans all over the place sitting there holding their hands trying to just root and put on the spirit for the players they like. Again, now uh, Vokar's position there, different. You got to be very careful. Sky High now try almost walking into a field of mines. He's actually gonna do the mines going off, killing one of his tanks though. Now he's gonna engage though. There are uh, cloaked wraiths in position, so he's gonna be forced to move back, getting his Goliath picked off. Now gonna be forced to pick back with those four tanks. There is a mine position, so High uh, could actually walk right into those mines, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Barely manage to take out those mines as he does. Sky High just t walks into the safety of those mines and instantly get killed. And High Nomen just moving up, scanning those mines, and also getting them pick picking them off. High, I'm sorry, and Sky High. Picking up this two o'clock base that's going to get spied by those wraiths. Also trying to move some tanks and vultures in position to help defend this. There are the wraiths though, and you really need some scan. I'm not even sure if he's has an academy at all, whether he has scans or not, because he really needs them at this point to take others on the opposite side. There, Hwasung sitting there rooting for their teammates. You're going to see that those wraiths are going to be able to take out this entire position unless he gets Goliaths in there as well as scans. This is going to be so di difficult. And now High is actually getting a third expansion going at the three o'clock. So now Sky has falling behind. He's got to be very careful economic. He's also losing tanks now, being forced to re to rebuild the, to repair them. Now finally walking in with Goliath and scans going off. So he's finally going to be able to take care of these raids. Going to engage those tanks, uh, moving in with his own. But High actually has quite a large number moving in with tanks, pretty close range with vultures alongside. Sky High has SCVs to help repair his own tanks, but mines being laid down everywhere, and one of those tanks goes down. But overall, Sky High manages to hold, reinforcing with some more tanks. Not quite sure on the opposite side where the Sky High has spotted this new base here, but he really needs to go in and harass that. Moving down the middle, actually, if he spots the 3 o'clock base and actually catches it off guard, he would be in a very good position, actually, do a lot of economic damage. There are tanks to defend there, there are vultures alongside, and wraiths too, but the Sky is actually move, gonna move towards the position. He doesn't have enough vultures or goliaths, he really needs those alongside to help block for his tank. Those tanks are getting right into open fire, he has to be very careful finally taking down those tanks in the upper ledge. But really in a, in a very dangerous position, apparently High just waiting with his Wraith until he can move towards that, until waiting for Cloak. He has only one single Goliath and several tanks that are in that position, so a very dangerous position for Sky overall. High and now moving downwards, we're going to see what he manages to do. Now Goliath is going to engage those Wraiths, not going to be able to Cloak in time, so Wraith actually not going to be able to take out any of those ground forces. Now Sky High, he's just planting himself outside this 3 o'clock base, he really needs to go down. But they're actually going to have dropship, so he's going to drop on a location, and now we're going to see the CJ... <laughs> 
the bench and they're all uh, getting all fired up screaming come on sky you can do it now another wraith engaging we're going to see who engages now here who this drop is actually going to come in i'm not even sure what location apparently i'm not even sure if he knows that three location with the location is been completely ignored. He's actually going to drop on this 4 o'clock here. Not really much to defend at all. ICV is going to be pulled off. There is a Goliath as well as tanks there to help engage. The ICV is being pulled off the line, but they're not really be able to engage because he has his own engineering bay blocking his own force. So a bunch of these SCVs are going to be killed as they try to just prevent those tanks from moving up. Nothing else while he's going to try to move some tanks towards the location to reinforce. So we're going to see a lot of 